welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, I cut my hair. Uh, cut my hair and went a little lighter. And it's a little um, wild right now because it's humid and I've been like trying on clothes all morning filming. But um, I can't believe I didn't cut it sooner. I'm so happy with it. I was so afraid I was going to have major regrets, but so happy with it. It feels so much lighter. It takes me like 10 minutes to blow dry. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, anyways, getting into the video, I just wanted to throw together some summer outfits, pieces, and outfits that I'm going to be wearing this summer. Gosh, like in Texas, and especially like even in New York, it gets so hot that it's almost impossible to put together a cute outfit that isn't just like a tiny dress and just like some sandals just touching you as little as possible. So I wanted to try to put together some warmer weather outfits, not like boiling hot yet, but just some warmer weather outfits. I'm partnering up with Cezanne. You guys loved, loved all the pieces from the last video. Of course, Cezanne is just so chic. It's a Parisian brand and every piece is just so thoughtfully made and just so well constructed and so beautiful. Like when you're purchasing a piece from Cezanne, you're getting just like, such a great item that will just live in your wardrobe forever that is just timeless and chic and there's good basics good fashion forward pieces um so you can just like find anything and it's just all so beautiful so i'm excited to partner up with them again i'm going to show some of their pieces styled um along with some other outfits as well but we'll go ahead and get started with um this outfit and i actually saw this look um styled exactly like this on the website and just had to have the outfit and recreate it for myself but i grabbed this short sleeve knit i know i told you i was going to show you summer looks and i'm showing you a sweater but this really isn't super heavy um it's really airy and breathable even though it is a, a knit I paired it with this floral skirt and the skirt definitely has some weight to it. It's textured. The print is just so feminine and so beautiful. Um, so I thought this went really nicely together. I feel like um, the camera's pointing. Up. Okay, I think that'll do. It's a little low, but that's okay. Um, next, I wanted to grab this dress for if you have any summer weddings coming up or just any summer occasions. I thought this dress was so just like cool. Um, I love the silhouette. I love anything that's just like poofy and fun and short. This dress is so, so cool. And it's also very chic as well. You could pair it, you could do, um, you could style it with black. I think for an evening out, you could do closed toe, open toe, depending on what the occasion is. But I just thought like I had to grab this and show you. This was one of my favorite pieces. It's just such a simple piece it is so so versatile it's just a short sleeve cotton midi dress the material is amazing it's not like that flimsy kind of cling to you cotton material it's it's like a stretchy but not super thick still breathable still light so so comfortable and so flattering i love this tie detail on the side you could do heels if you're wanting to dress it up you could do sneakers like some black converse i think would be cool if you're just like having a day of errands or running around next is this denim dress and when i was putting this outfit together i was like okay i feel like this is kind of like going to the market go to the farmer's market getting some flowers like it had a whole like vibe i was creating this whole girl in my head of like who she was, where she lives, where she's going. But um, I paired this with some sneakers and just an oversized woven bag. And I just thought this was really chic. And the denim is really light. Um, I know a big trend right now is like denim on denim, denim dresses, just denim pieces overall. So going into the summer, you wanna make sure that your denim pieces are lightweight and breathable and they're not like thick and clinging to you. So this is a perfect, denim piece if you're kind of wanting to stay on trend but still have a classic silhouette next is another i would definitely say an occasion dress um but i grabbed this piece it's like a crochet white kind of puff sleeve um dress with really nice detailing on it there's just a lot of really nice detail in this dress and you could definitely wear this um, as a standalone piece with some sandals um, or you could throw it on over a bathing suit if you are going on vacation or just going to the pool um, this is a really great piece to have because it is versatile in that way so next i think flowy midi skirts are going to be so big this season i've seen them everywhere i've been seeing them since spring so i grabbed a white flowy 
uh, skirt and I paired it with a tube top <laughs> which believe it or not are also coming back and oh my gosh I remember just owning so many tube tops in middle school and like going into high school and they are back so I grabbed this one it has like a little slit so you can wear it untucked and I feel like this gives you that layered look you know it feels like you're kind of layering two pieces on top of each other um, without you know like burning up and actually layering on a third piece so I love the idea of a tube top on top. Next is just a simple dark brown flowy dress. You can leave it tied, untied, but I think these dark browns and neutrals are so beautiful um, this time of year. I love color and I love print, but I feel like beige and browns really have my heart this year. I've been like really gravitating towards like chocolatey browns. Next is this drop waist black dress and if I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm still not super comfortable even seven months postpartum with something clinging to my stomach. I just feel, I don't know, a little self-conscious, um, but ugh, such a shame because I love this dress and I love the idea of the drop waist dress coming back. I think they're so pretty and so cool. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to this until I'm fully ready fully confident when I'm wearing it. Just an oversized button down with a pair of wider leg jeans. I love the, um, you know, the oversized on top of oversized. It's just always like had my heart. So I love this look. Um, now if you wanted to do, you know, like a crop tube type top underneath, leave it unbuttoned, you still get that look, but still showing some skin if you don't wanna feel like you're just completely drowning in fabric. Next is kind of what I was just talking about. So I did this striped tube top layered with two black pieces. Um, black, I think they're linen shorts, left the shirt open and then added like just a print underneath to keep it dark and moody with the all black, but then adding a um, like a ribbed black and white underneath to break it up and add some print. And then lastly is a really baggy, uh, low-rise boyfriend jean um, I've had these for a while not quite sure how to style them uh, but then I grabbed this top and it just kind of went perfectly for the look I was going for so you've got a really feminine piece on top and then a really baggy um, masculine type of denim on bottom so I thought the two pieces just kind of meshed really well together all right but that is it for this video um, I feel like I just showed so many outfits and I don't know I'm starting to like you know, I like hate summer. I talked about, I've talked about this ever since I've had my YouTube channel. I hate hot weather. I hate summer. <laughs> That's why I loved New York so much because you get cooler weather most of the year. But I feel like I'm starting to, like it's not, it's starting to not bother me so much. So <laughs> maybe I'll do more summer styling videos. But um, anyways, thank you so much to Suzanne for partnering up with me. Always just such a pleasure. And I will link everything below and see you next time. Bye.